Hello everyone and welcome to this course in Swift 2 Application Development. My name is Paul Napier and throughout the suite of videos we'll be covering more advanced topics in application development on both iOS and watchOS platforms to ensure you have the right tools to enhance your applications and engage your users. I've been working in development in one form or another for the last decade and moved into mobile development around seven years ago. I've worked on a variety of projects, both commercial and personal, across both Apple and Android mobile platforms including iOS, watchOS, macOS, and most recently even tvOS operating systems. I thrive upon the challenge of learning this ever-growing development environment. Now, with the advent of Swift and the power it represents, especially now it has become an open source technology, I feel that everyone has the opportunity to join me on this exciting adventure of becoming an application developer. During this course, we're going to work with an existing application that we created during a previous course, Application Development with Swift 2. This application is DreamSeeker, and I believe it truly fits in with the concept of this course, as it's an application designed to help users capture and track their dreams and goals. We will take this application, and we will work with some of the more advanced features in iOS and watchOS to add features and stability to the application. We will walk through each step you need to take, from reviewing the existing project code, to adding and evaluating third-party frameworks, adding core data and watchkit into the application, all the way through to testing the application with unit and UI tests, and then finally uploading to iTunes Connect. In section one, setting the scene and using Cocoa Pods for dependency management, we will initially review the current code base to understand what it is we are working with. Next, we will look at some of the criteria we will use for evaluating third-party frameworks that can help us add good supported code bases for complex tasks before adding in a library using Cocoa Pods. In section two, using animations to bring your app to life, We'll work with the core animation and UI kit frameworks to understand not only how to animate views and layers, but also what properties are animatable. And we'll even create a fully animated path using only code. In section three, using core data to persist your data, we'll take our current implementation of NS user defaults and refactor our code so we'll be able to make use of this powerful framework. We'll then look at all the steps we need to take to create, read, update and delete from our database using core data objects and schemes before learning how to migrate from one database version to another. In section 4, implementing core location and map kit, we'll step through the process of adding a location-based service to your application using CL Location Manager and look at the process of adding annotations into a map view. In section 5, creating a watchOS application, we will look at how we can create an application that synchronizes its data with our iOS application, making use of shared app groups, core data, and shared files across targets. We will then look at how we can pass data between the iOS and watchOS application using watch connectivity. And finally in this section, we'll take a quick look at the new complications elements, what they are, and how our users can get even faster access to our application. In section six, testing your application, we'll look at how and why we test our application using XC test, assertions and UI tests to ensure we maintain greater stability and implement new features without compromising existing functionality. In section 7, preparing your app for submission, we will walk through all the necessary steps needed to create certificates and provisioning profiles that will allow us to upload our application into iTunes Connect and prepare it for submission into the App Store review process. If you follow along with each of the videos in this course, then by the end, you'll be able to achieve your own goal of submitting a great application into the App Store and perhaps tick it off your own list in the DreamSeeker app.